what's up guys this is going to be aries love april 2022 um let's see what wants to occur here okay let's see Aries, April love, 2022, love and light to you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, we got the lover's card here in the upright. This is Gemini springtime energy, early summer energy. Sixes are about balance. This is going to be a three card uh, spread. The full extent of this reading is going to be um, in the extended Patreon link below. How much boys only three dollars to subscribe. Sixes are about balance, right? So we're trying to maintain balance. It's also about perseverance. Um, the Lover's card, like I said, Gemini Energy, Twin Flame Soulmate card here. Um, so things can be coming back together here for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Cross Watcher. Feel free to apply this to your first house. Um, you know, it's very interesting what's popping out here for me. The Serpent here is popping out um, for this Eve feminine figure. Um, somebody I feel is really kind of succumbing or succumbing to, um, the kind of negativity in their mind, the voice. Now, obviously we all have the divine masculine feminine within us. Um, but that's going to be a constant kind of, um, soil to till and, um, you know, garden to, to weed out the BS, the snakes in the grass. Um, now, obviously, we all have our own kind of internal battles uh, or harmonies, hopefully, that we try to balance and keep at peace with. Um, but then externally, you know, likely if our love is relying on somebody else here, then you're going to hope that they're doing their best, you know, on their end to fight off their fears, worries, temptations, demons. While they're doing that, interestingly enough, the Nine of Cups in the Upright is coming out for this uh, Adam, e, uh, Adam figure here. And for extending the Adam and Eve uh, metaphor. Um, somebody is using this time to kind of be uh, solid uh, emotionally. The Six of Swords in the Upright is travel, so I can see somebody traveling back to you, maybe back to this connection um, as well. Um, very interesting, again, more Six energy. Six and a nine, I'm getting that more so on the feminine side. If this is an externality, this person isn't quite up to your level. Um, probably emotionally. Um, the swords are about communication here. Someone has a lot of kind of work that they've been doing in regards to justifying their actions and their movements. Uh, they have a narrative and they have a story. The only thing that I can suggest here as well with this interesting, you know, evidence is that, um, Six, you know, it's three twice. So that three is sores, it's heartbreaks. This person has undergone multiple heartbreaks. And so they have not kind of learned or understood how to leave those behind. Um, they, which is very kind of sad and unfortunate because that means that when they were kind of coming to you, they already, you know, were at kind of two strikes. And they did not give you the benefit of the doubt. They did not give you... Um, that fair square chance to kind of straight away, you know, do what you need to do and give it the old kind of like, you know, uh, the, the, the best efforts that you can muster up here uh, is what I'm getting. Um, they may, excuse me, an interesting interpretation with the Six of Swords in the Emperor, they may have also used, you know, their actions, uh, leading with their actions, um, even oftentimes leading with, you know, physical uh, interactions, we'll just say, um, as a way to really kind of protect the depths of what they were either going through or, you know, their, you know, what they've encountered in their past and what they were kind of bringing to the table. You know, we all have our baggage to a certain extent, but if this person is kind of allowing that said baggage to kind of construct their outlook without being aware of how biased they now are, um, then 
every and any relationship that they encounter, it's going to kind of still come with this, um, you know, uh, caveat where, uh, you know, people aren't getting a fair uh, chance uh, with this person, which is unfortunate and sad. Um, on a brighter note here, the lover's card is something that is kind of like divinely uh, orchestrated, divinely ordained, divinely blessed, divinely guided. Uh, it's the highest of highs. So, you know, with this quality overseeing these two souls, um, you really can't, you really can't, you know, be beat to an extent. Uh, again, whether you're able to kind of internalize this, um, if it isn't an externalized, you know, actualized reality, then you can still carry and take this lesson with you. You know, it's almost as if these two cards are presenting, you know, how you can be somebody who's jaded or closed off or living in a more kind of fearful state versus somebody who's actually kind of learned and garnered a, a lesson or a teaching or an understanding from this. And that usually comes from having, you know, uh, done the work and really try to understand, you know, what's going on um, in their relationships. So very interesting, very interesting. And of course, you know, we have different levels here. You, you could apply this to platonic, you know, friends and family and all that stuff as well. This isn't just romantic um, love. Um, but, you know, you, you can have your roles switched where you take things personally and you are not kind of removing those swords. Maybe in a way you've learned to kind of integrate them with you in your travels. And so it could be that you don't allow people to get close to you in some way. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's everybody's kind of, uh, prerogative and, um, you know, you're, you're going to have to kind of, again, uh, you know, um, take stock of, you know, what, what do you value and how do you want to build your world here is what I'm getting. But okay, I'm going to keep on rambling on the extended because I already did seven minutes on this it was just supposed to be a three card monty, but I got into it. Okay, so let's uh, go to the extended on Patreon and we will dig deeper. Holler at your boy. Link below. Peace.